with the bitter Duke expected to take aim at his father, his brother, and the institution of the monarchy itself. Uh, the book's press release says it will take readers immediately back to one of the most searing images of the 20th century. Two young boys, two princes walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. Billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling. Now their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching, honestly, Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination and hard-won wisdom. But do you think Prince Harry could be putting the royal family at threat? With the release of this bombshell autobiography, expected to slag off the new king. Let me know your thoughts by emailing me, Dan, at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. I'll poll running there too. But joining me now, the author and journalist, one of the country's top royal biographers, Tom Bauer. The socialite and royal insider. She's a royal author too, Lady Colin Campbell. And the journalist and broadcaster, Nina Mishkov. So, Tom Bauer, look, I remember you predicted it when you are on air with me uh, broadcasting... <coughs> during the Queen, the late Queen's funeral, you always believed uh, <clears throat> Prince Harry was going to push ahead with the publication of this book to howl with the mourning period, to howl with the consequence on the royal family. And here we see it. Uh, it will be out only four months after the Queen's death and before King Charles's coronation. Well, it's a very com- clever commercial ruse. And not only that, Dan, of course, it's the third anniversary of Mexit, which you predicted in The Sun. Uh, This is what's so interesting about it all. They've chosen a date, which is very significant. It comes, of course, after the Netflix series about uh, the crown and the Netflix series about them. The build-up will be enormous. And on top of that, it's being sold in 16 languages across the globe. So the impact will be literally global. And uh, people will obviously scour the text but with the slightest criticism of Charles, Kate and William, and they won't be disappointed. And, of course, that'll be the headlines across the world that Harry dumps on the royal family. And, unfortunately, the royal family will suffer. Lady C, I am told uh, that your palace sources say they are concerned about the publication of the book. Is that, is that correct? Yes, I've been told that people at the palace are very concerned, but I've been speaking to relations and friends, and I have to tell you, I'm a lot less concerned than practically everybody is. I think that Harry has so blotted his copy and has shown himself to be so, to have such a loose relationship with the truth, that I think that, you know, it's a case of the boy who cried wolf. I think no matter what he says, he has a credibility problem, and also he has a very maladjusted relationship with fact. <laughs> and what I'm is going to be very easily disprovable. So I really think people don't need to be quite as worried as they seem to be preparing themselves to be. Let's put it that way. Well, yeah, look, if, if, if the Oprah interview is anything to go by, I won't be surprised if within a few days there will be calls for Spare to be reclassified as a work of fiction uh, come January. But Nina Mishkov, uh, you think this is a great thing, that, that Prince Harry uh, wants to damage King Charles before his coronation? I don't think it's necessarily a situation of... Um Uh, Harry wanting to damage Prince Charles before his coronation. Harry has every right to tell his story. He has uh, been absolutely castigated uh, in the media for the last two or three years. He has every right to say what he thinks. And I don't know what the royal family are worried about. I mean, are they more worried about fact or fiction? Fact from Harry or fiction from the Crown? I mean, in the Crown, there's this episode where uh, Charles is supposed to be asking for his mother to abdicate, which we absolutely know, according to John Major, is not a fact. Now, are they more worried about that or what potentially Harry is going to say? And You know, all this fuss, his mother did it. His mother uh, cooperated with Andrew Morton, Diana, My True Story, and then gave that bombshell interview. And uh, his father 
gave the interview to um, Jonathan Dimbleby uh, and, and confessed on television to adultery, for heaven's sake. Um, and at the same time, he cooperated with, with Jonathan Dimbleby on, on, his, on that memoir. And the memoir, he, he castigated his own parents, the Queen and particularly the Duke of Edinburgh. So what, you know, all this speculation of what Harry might or might not do has all been done before by both parents, by King Charles. 